the, what he said next is what really like set me off. Absolutely insane. What is up guys, Adrian Nickelodeon coming at you from Sydney, Australia. And we just purchased this motorcycle. This is a 2018 Yamaha MT10. And today we're going to teach you guys how to register your motorcycle. Whether you buy a brand new or whether this is the first time you're getting it registered. Thank you. That was nice of them to let me through. So, depending on where you're from on planet Earth, I mean, uh, right now we're in Windsor, New South Wales, Australia. Beautiful, sunny Windsor, Windsor River. Actually, this is the Hawkesbury River. But uh, depending on where you're from, the uh, process may be very similar to what we're going to go through today. So, you buy the motorcycle, you hand over the cash, you get your keys, and then you get that swagger. Oh, look at that, VB Commodore. My very first car, V8 VB. So you're ready to go. Now, you need to transfer your ownership. The first thing you need to do is transfer ownership. So you go down to the, we have uh, what used to be called the RTA, Road and Traffic Authority. They've now changed it to the RMS, Roads and Maritime Authority, because they're including boat registration now these days. Man, this bike sounds good. But you need to transfer your registration first and um, you can do that online. If you live in New South Wales, you can do that online. Second point is uh, you need to get your motorcycle inspected. Now, there may be exemptions for this in New South Wales. If your vehicle is less than five years old, you don't need to get a, a roadworthy certificate or you know a vehicle safety inspection. Any vehicles over that, you'll need to get your vehicle inspected. So because this is a 2018 model and we're in 2019, I haven't had me a fancy new motor vehicle before Oh, I haven't had me a fancy new motor vehicle for a long time. Uh, yeah, I called up the RTA just to check the RMS. Uh, sorry. Sorry, the RMS. Just to check. And uh, they said, no, I don't need to get an inspection, a safety inspection. So I just need to go down there and pay the registration fees. But, but if you were to get your vehicle inspected, you know, I should really pull over and show you guys what they're going to go through. All right, so let's say you do have to get the bike inspected. You're going to take it down to an authorized inspection station. There's a list online of where you can take it in whatever state or country that you live in. Surely there's got to be a list somewhere online, but you can easily Google that information. And the mechanic's going to go over some safety things on the bike. So they're going to make sure your brakes work. They're going to make sure that in New South Wales, at least, that you've got at least one mirror. They're going to check your indicators and make sure they work. They'll check the thickness of your brake pads they may torsionally flex the front and back wheels to check your wheel bearings they'll check your headlight they'll check your horn if your exhaust is too loud they may knock you back for that they'll check your tail lights hazard lights they'll check your tire wear make sure that's all in spec you know they'll go over your entire motorcycle and make sure that it's roadworthy and safe for other road users now if you're watching this video you're probably in your 20s you're just learning about all this sort of stuff and if you've watched some of my other videos especially this one up here you know how much i hate mechanics because of how badly they've screwed me over in the past i mean i had a mechanic put green cordial into the radiator of one of my vehicles which caused me to go back to him and keep on getting work done because my vehicle was overheating and the head was warped and i had to get a new head gasket and thousands of dollars later until i realized what was going on but it just goes to show that if there's fuck these flies these flies are everywhere today man just goes to show if there's a dollar to be saved, there's a dollar to be made. And some of these mechanics will go to any lengths to squeeze an extra few bucks out of you, even if it costs you a few thousand dollars extra. So I'm a big advocate of doing all of my maintenance on my bikes myself, but unfortunately I need to visit mechanics every now and then to get my safety certificate or my roadworthy certificate done on my vehicles. Try and find a good mechanic. I'll leave that up to you to work out what a good and bad mechanic is. Honestly, if you've got a mechanic down here by your tires, flexing them, trying to work out whether your wheel bearings are okay, you might want to choose a different mechanic. I mean, they've been a little bit too thorough. Actually, I've got a story about this prick mechanic that I visited with my car a few years ago. Let's share that one on the bike. Yeah. 
Jeez, man, that quick shift up. All right, so we're still heading to the registry, but I want to share with you this story about this uh, this mechanic that I took my car to to get um, to get registered. I just literally the day before I just gotten back from Melbourne, which is about a thousand kilometers away from Sydney. Let's put it in uh, cruise control. This bike is oh, this bike is amazing. Look at that cruise control. Woo! Never had me a fancy new vehicle with cruise control before. <laughs> anyway, came home from Melbourne. It was pissing down rain. Windscreen wipers worked perfectly on that journey. I took it to this mechanic, and you know I knew my vehicle was fine. I knew that there was nothing wrong with it. And he went over the entire vehicle, and he knew there was nothing wrong with it. And he goes, "Oh, your windscreen wipers need to be replaced." And I was like, "No, come on!" Like you know, I just came back from Melbourne. They worked fine. Now like. They worked fine at speed while the wind was blowing on the windshield, but when they were parked, they would, uh, so the windscreen wipers, right, they would, they start at the bottom here, they come up and then back down. So they'll go up, but then on the down, they would like, sh like, chatter across the windshield, like they would like shudder, like drrr, on the way back down, and they'd leave like a little bit of water on the windshield. But at speed, with the wind blowing on the windshield, uh, it wouldn't happen. I was like, oh, okay. Like, I, he took me out there and he showed me what was going on. I was like, oh, yeah, damn, you know, that's no good. And um, I said to him, I said, how much are the replacement blades? And he goes, oh, they're 60 bucks. 60 bucks, that's a lot of money. Like, especially for windshield, windshield wipers. And I know for a fact that at Super Cheap Auto, one of the automotive stores that we have here in Australia, the windscreen wiper blades are, they're like 20 bucks, all right? So I said to him, I said, oh, you know, that's fine. Like, you know, don't worry about it. I'll just go down to Super Cheap Auto and get some $20 ones and put them in and um, should be fine. And this is like, this is what, the, what he said next is what really like set me off. He said to me, even if you go down to Super Cheap Auto and buy brand new wiper blades, right? He told me that I need new wiper blades. He said, even if you go down to Super Cheap Auto and buy brand new wiper blades, I still may not pass the car if they don't work properly. And I was like, what, like, what the fuck? Are you serious, bro? Like, you just told me I need new wiper blades, but I have to spend $60 and get them from you instead of spending twenty dollars getting them from Super Cheap Auto. And I was like, uh, well, I don't, I don't quite know what's going on here. I was like, look, don't worry about it, man. I'll just, uh, you know, do I have to pay for this inspection? He goes, yeah, well, I've already done the inspection. So he sort of screwed me up. He, he trapped me, right? So I had to pay for the inspection. And the way it works is, uh, you go and get whatever needs to get fixed, fixed, and then you come back and then they, then they clear it right and you can't go to another inspection place because they put it in the computer that you've got a like pending inspection that's uh you know unfinished or hasn't been closed off yet so i was trapped i was like you're kidding me this guy's gonna try and charge me 60 bucks for another set of uh for a set of brand new windscreen wipers when i when i know i can get them for 20 bucks anyway went and did some research online and i didn't know this but i found out online that you can adjust the windscreen wiper blades just with like a pair of pliers you just need to twist the metal and it changes the angle of the of the blade i also looked up the requirements of the windscreen wiper blades and as long as they're not cracked or like curled over i've never been down here before cemetery oh wow well, it's a nice road yeah as long as the blades aren't cracked or like curled over there shouldn't really be an issue. Oh, wow, we found the river. I've never been down here before. Oh, we found a lake. We're coming in with this monster MT. Yeah, it's a lake. This monster MT just... <laughs> disrupting everyone's chi there's like families here <laughs> having their picnics let's uh let's go let's go further down the road anyway so i checked uh, so I, I checked out the uh the requirements for the blades as long as they're not cracked or like curled over like they shouldn't be an issue right but they they i admit they weren't really moving water on the downstroke they were chattering a little bit and um, to fix that, I found out off uh, online YouTube videos, was you just adjust the, the wiper blades, the angle, just with a pair of pliers, you just bend the metal slightly. So I did that, they worked perfectly, there was nothing wrong with them. I didn't need to go and buy $20 wiper blades from Super Cheap Auto. I didn't need to go and spend $60 with this rip-off artist to get new wiper blades. Polo Farm, Polo Club. Oh, it's 
ritzy, ritzy area. There's a polo club. I didn't need to spend 60 bucks with this ripoff artist to get the blades changed. I didn't need to get the blades changed at all. They just need to be needed to be slightly adjusted. I was so freaking angry, man. So angry. You know, because this guy's like my local mechanic. I'd been down to his mechanic workshop when it was under a different ownership many many years previous uh, when I had the Mitsubishi Colt and um, I had problems back then and I didn't go back to the the business but you know I thought under new ownership you know things had changed but clearly not like what's the saying a leopard can't change its spots you know this definitely rings true with this mechanic I'm just gonna turn around because uh, we're going the wrong way we've already passed the RMS we're in a very leafy ritzy sort of area polo fields please polo anyway the, my point my point like for all of this is right pick and choose your mechanic wisely if you go to a mechanic and I've, I've had this before where I've taken motorbikes there and they've checked like the wheel bearings you know and they want to like fail you on, on something like that you know and they're meticulously going over like every little thing on the bike like I get it I get that it's their job but there are more relaxed mechanics out there that take a like, more relaxed easy approach to things and aren't looking to rip you off like every single little freaking dollar that you've got so if you're a young bloke watching this video I don't know what to say man like you, you, you probably wouldn't have the experience but just trust your gut if you've got a gut feeling about something and you don't really trust him then uh, it might be time to find someone else to do the work on your motorcycle or on your car. Oh God, this road's horrible. To do the work on your motorcycle or on your car. All right, let's get to the let's get to the RMS. Man, never in my wildest dreams that I think I'd get such a fire parking spot. No parking restrictions. Oh, you can park here all day. I've never seen a sign like that before. That's cool. So yeah, we're at the RMS. We're going to head inside and give them our license plate number and pay for registration. Now, before we come down here and pay for registration, we need to jump online and pay for a, gr a green slip or compulsory third party here in New South Wales. So I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so you need to make sure that you get a green slip for your vehicle. This is mandatory in New South Wales, Australia. Every vehicle that's registered in New South Wales has a CTP, which is compulsory third party, or we call it a green slip. So you can head over to greenslips.com.au to compare green slips. We've got a range of green slips here. I've already put in all of the details, bike details, my details, my age, my driving history and everything else. And these are the numbers that it spat out. Just before we continue, can I just ask, does yeah. uh, your company offer at-fault driver cover for the CTP? Okay, so um, we do um, cover uh, in certain, for certain policies. Yes, we do, for up to two, $250,000. So um, I'll let you know the three things I need. It needs to be a normal sedan wagon or four drive passenger vehicle. Yep. Um, the vehicle needs to be um, under 10 years old. Right. And then uh, the youngest driver needs to be over the age of 25. So what about motorcycles? Uh, motorcycles, we don't offer um, adult driver protection. Oh, okay. All right. I might have to give you guys a call back. All right, guys. So bad news. It looks like it looks like all of these insurance companies have really cottoned on to motorcycle riders and they don't offer at-fault driver cover. They only offer at-fault driver cover for passenger vehicles, not for motorcycle. Um, not for motorcycles. So looks like we're going with QBE, the cheapest option, 430 bucks. Well, there you go. I'm sure this has something to do with it. New South Wales CTP scheme reforms. Oh man, look at that taxi. That is insane. Just like from the movies. Surely it's not a real taxi from back in the day. That's crazy. All right, I'm going to get some bread and milk. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, share the video with uh, any of your mates that have some some of the uh, the some of the answer. Oh, fuck. Get it out. Don't forget to share the video with some of your mates that have answers that have been answered in this video. That's it. See you guys in the next one.